atheists, a couple agnostics, and two Christians who went out to actually do the research on the shroud. It wasn't a bunch of Christians wanting to go out there and go, whoa, how cool is this? It was a bunch of people going to shut it down. Was really what it was, and so when they went out there for five days and five nights, they came back and they made they made these digital recreations. This actually belonged to the Sturp team back in '78, so they can continue their research. It went on to a ministry that had this on display in the '80s at the Omni Center in Atlanta. It was a worldwide convention that came out. It ended up at, at a uh, at a gentleman's facility up near Toledo, Ohio, which is where I got it, and I've been fortunate enough to get it. There was only five that were ever made, and this is one of the five. This is. This, Close as you'll get to seeing the real thing. So it's about 14 and a half feet long, it's about three and a half feet wide, and it's the proposed cloth that they put Jesus in during the burial. So I want to give you kind of an illustration of what that looked like. They would lay the body down inside of the, the shroud, like this, and then they would fold it back over. So you end up with that image right there, kind of a cutaway on what it looked like in the head image. Let me show you a video. Um, most of the time, people are looking at it going, what is it, Gary Habermas, if you don't know who that is, he's one of the world's leading apologists, and he's become a good friend of mine through the years. 